Saturday, April 27th, the Coosa Valley Group had the second annual Earth Day celebration at Nakalula's Falls Park. Uh, the setup began early Saturday morning at around 7 a.m. We were a bit scared uh, with a prediction of inclement weather, and in fact, as you can see by these people, it was a bit chilly in the morning, but gratefully we uh, dodged the bullet and the Earth Day celebration was never uh, marred by any rain. Uh, here is the Sierra Club group tent signing in some of our exhibitors. These people happen to be from a goat uh, soap organization. Peggy Griffin and Cindy Garrison setting up with the Sierra Club tent. And here is our able hospitality chair, Miriam Hill. Uh, she prepared all kinds of cookies and goodies for our exhibitors. Uh, one of our exhibitors here had various kinds of herbs, seeds. Here's Trey Staples with the Gadsden Outfitters. He is our outings chairman, and uh, nobody could be better for that because he has a Outings group. Here's Maggie Johnston from McDowell Environmental Center and a bunch of kids um, watching as stories are being told. We had someone from the Gadsden Public Library telling stories. These people probably have the title for longest distance travel. They came from Syracuse, New York. That's my sister-in-law and my niece. And here are a couple of good Sierra Club members who came out for the show. We had all kinds of children's exhibits, and this is a garden basket forever sunrise organics. They have a program to have weekly deliveries of food. Pat Emerson does Native American crafts. She's a member of the Coosa Valley group. It's the crowd scene. We had uh, all kinds of people from. Throughout the course of the day, we were never covered up, but it uh, stayed, you know, a steady stream of folks. People signing in for our giveaway. Uh, here's a local family. Kai Hardnet on the right. Callie in the middle. Bees. We had bees. Here's a nice couple. Uh, she was doing postcards of uh, scenes throughout Alabama. Connie's Coney's did a good business all day long. I think you see Steve Guzman right in front there chowing down. And we had, uh, this is our farmer's market pavilion. We had good attendance throughout the day in here. The Gadsden Youth Sympathy Symphony sent a group of people the string quartet. Craig Reynolds is seen walking down the pathway. He's a talented local artist who contributed a painting. This kid was pretty cute. selection of animals, little docks in there. The organizers wound up spending some money. I bought a pen, Cindy bought some goat milk soap. And here's the oxymorons who gave us entertainment throughout the course of the day. Face painting was a popular exhibit. And here's some of the results. This kid in the middle is pretty impressive. There was a specialized car that's put together from the front end of a Pontiac Miriam Hill sitting in the car. The back end looks like a motorcycle but isn't. Uh, this lady is Beth and that's her granddaughter right there. Fellow Holland is 
grandson around with his radio flyer. And at the conclusion of the day, we had a hike down the Black Creek Trail, led by Cindy Garrison and myself. This is what the Nakalula Falls is all about, a uh, famous local attraction. We even saw some wildlife on our trip. cap off the day we were surprised to see this warrior princess who took two of our children captive can't tell what you're gonna see on the Black Creek Trail <laughs> 